Hey everyone, it's Nash. Today is May 30th, 2014, and I am four months on T. Uh, just a couple days ago was my four month. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time. I've been really busy at work, uh, so I haven't had a lot of time to make a video. So I'm actually waiting outside of work right now. My shift starts in like 15 minutes. So I just thought I would put something together real quick while I was in the car. Um, uh, I've, exp I've been experiencing some changes, which has been really nice. Um, my voice is getting lower. Uh, I have been getting more hair than I have been on my legs, on my chin. Uh, they're blonde, but they're coming in. They're getting longer. Um, kind of getting to that point where I should probably be shaving again, just because you can't quite tell, but it's, uh, it's getting kind of creepy. I don't know. The camera makes it look like I'm making shit up. But I swear. <laughs> um, getting a little bit more acne on my chin, which makes a lot of sense. They say that that um, happens before hair grows in and hair is growing in there. So that kind of makes sense. I don't think it's much of an issue. I've been taking really good care of my skin. But yeah, I've uh, been getting a lot of people noticing lately that uh, things are changing. Uh, for example, I was on the phone with a, a client who I hadn't talked to in a few months and uh, she was like, oh, do you have a cold? <laughs> I was like, uh, no. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to say in the professional environment with somebody who I like don't know at all. But um, yeah, uh, people have been noticing my voice a lot. I just saw an old friend from college just a, a little bit ago and uh, she was saying that I looked really different. And I think that like my, my shoulders are broader, uh, my voice is deepening. I actually took pictures, kind of my second round of pictures. Um, I took a bunch of pre t pictures uh, like the night before I started and I haven't taken another round until yesterday. Uh, I took some four month pictures. And the, the difference is, is pretty significant, uh, particularly in my waist. My waist has widened quite a bit, uh, which is nice. The fat distribution is something that I wasn't expecting to happen uh, very much until like around a year is what I've observed with other people. So that's already starting to happen uh, on a pretty significant level. I mean, it's not huge, but it makes me feel good that um, it's definitely noticeable. Um, just a little less curvy, just a little, a little bit straighter. Uh, my hips are still uh, really an issue for me. They make me feel really uncomfortable, but uh, it, things are getting better all around, so that's awesome. My shoulders, my neck is a lot wider, um, which m makes the illusion that my hips are smaller, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I uh, am just feeling really good. I'm feeling good. I don't know if I have a whole lot of more updates. Oh, it seems like, I'm probably jinxing myself, but it seems like my cycle may have uh, ended. So that's really exciting. Um, should have occurred last week and has not. And so I got my fingers crossed that it's gone for good, that I have said so long to that, that horrible time every month and moving on from there. So that was probably uh, that along with like my fat distribution and probably my voice were like the three things I was looking most forward to um, with maybe like more body hair coming behind that. But uh, so yeah, my voice is lowering, my cycle may have ended, uh, my fat is redistributing somewhat and so those things are happening and they're making me feel really good and I just feel really confident about my decision. I'm starting to feel really comfortable in my body, uh, more so at least, and I feel like I've got a long way to go, and I'm excited that my changes aren't anywhere near complete because I am not feeling like totally great yet, but I have a lot of hope that if this is where I'm at at four months, that things are going really, really well. So it's about all I have. Um, I've been going out of town a lot, getting moved up to full-time at work. Uh, I've got another job, so I'll be at like 45 hours. So that's exciting. More money. Um, getting paid for all the hours I'm working. Not that I've been asked to work beyond what I uh, get paid for, but there's just a lot to do. And if I'm going to do my job right, I'm going to do it. So uh, I'll have more hours to do the job well, to do it better. So that's exciting. Um, went out of town, went to California last weekend and saw my friend Hannah for her birthday. We surprised her, which was really fun been doing a lot of traveling across the nation to surprise people so that's cool um, 
Yeah, what else? I don't know. Going out of town again this weekend. Going to a yurt with my housemates. Should be fun on the coast. Um, a good friend of mine had top surgery two days ago with Dr. Crane, which is where I'm going in August. And it was nice to hear from him a little bit through text that things were, went really well, that he felt really comfortable with uh, the physician and or the physician's assistants and the, and the surgeon. And so... I don't know, it was great, it was just great to hear that update, that things went really well, that it was easy, that, you know, obviously he's got some healing to go now, but that uh, he was up and about yesterday and not uh, totally bedridden, so it got me all excited, it got me all excited about what's about to happen in August, so, cool, signing off for now, uh, it's April 30th, 2014, I'm four months on tea, later.